Not too bad, not too shabby. It's a big countertop, but it's going to have to do. It'll do. We got the top of the back wall off. I uh, guess we got lucky here. We haven't got no leaks here yet. I don't see anything leaking here, but we're going to go ahead and take this whole back wall off because we're going to be putting in a utility door down here that will go underneath of the bed for outside so we can store our ramp or our uh, whatever we need for outside. Our chalks, different things, our cords and stuff like that will be stored in the back underneath of the bed, part of the bed. So that way we won't have to have a box outside. We'll be able to reach inside and gather up whatever we need. Uh, so I'm going to work on getting this guy off. And then uh, I really want to do that wall too. I have a buddy of mine that has a camera, uh, a snake camera. I wanted to insulate that, but I know if I insulate I, I'm probably going to tear it off. I, and try to insulate it and make sure there's no more leaks so Okay, back walls off. Don't look too bad. Looks better than anything I've seen so far on this trailer. Got me breathing hard, but we're getting her done. Everything looks pretty good there. What I'm basically doing is looking for daylight uh, through the sides. If you see daylight, water could get in. 
Okay, every piece of this wood, I'm trying to save, salvage what I can off of this wood. I don't think we're going to have much of a hard time putting it back on. It's just we're going to have to cover some holes. And I'm sure we'll do okay with that. But we're going to try to salvage whatever we can from this. All right, I went in town and picked up three jugs. We have, these are six gallon each. Now this is going to be set up to where the sink is going to have one of these as a gray water. We'll mark one of them as gray water and we'll have two of them as fresh water. So if we want to do some boondocking, we'll have about 10 gallons on board of fresh water. Well, actually 12 gallons of fresh water on board. So if we happen to be somewhere we don't have any water or uh, no sewage, We'll be able to use this as a gray water and these two on the ends we'll use as fresh water. Now when we put the shower in we're also going to put a gray water tank underneath of the shower. That way uh, I'm thinking about a 10 or 15 gallon gray water underneath. Um, that way if we want to take a shower and we have no access to uh, water or sewage we'll still be able to take a shower whenever we want to take a shower. Uh, now my, uh, the, the, the commode part, it's, we're just going to use the little portable commode and we'll set it in the shower uh, when we're not taking a shower and we can use it in there um, as needed and then when we get ready to take a shower we can just set it out on the floor and take a shower. It might be a little bit inconvenient but it is a small uh, trailer so we're going to make the best of it. Uh, we picked up a microwave. I'm going to be mounting a microwave in the top up here. Um, and uh, this will be used, you know, just to heat up stuff here and there, which will make it a little bit better. Uh, but when we're boondocking, we'll also have a gas a stove too. Now, I'll probably still use the same gas stove I had with the uh, runaway camper. Um, I have a couple little gas stoves, a one burner and a two burner. So, Anyhow, I'm going to end this video now. As you can see, I'm trying to salvage all the wood that I can out of here uh, to be able to mount it back on, and it'll save me a little bit of money. So we're doing our best on it, and I'll take off with the next video right here where we left off. So uh, this way you won't miss, miss anything. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe, leave me a thumbs up, thumbs down, comment if you'd like. Till next time, well, I better get to work. We got a lot of it here.